Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, find the limit of this uh, of this here as uh, as h approaches zero. So um so ultimately, looking at this, you have to um you have to ultimately find out this as h approaches zero. So within this bubble here, you can visualize it as one fraction taking away another fraction. Now, looking at this fraction here, um, you've got this bubble at the bottom here. Now, as as h approaches zero. So this thing here, as h approaches zero, you can consider this bubble as as being x um, x plus. Well, as h approaches zero, it's going to be near enough x plus near enough zero. So it's, as h approaches zero here, it's going to be x plus near enough zero. So you can consider this as being uh, just x. So here, my point is that uh, here you've got a, a bubble here. Now, as h approaches zero here, you can you as h approaches zero, you can consider this bubble as being just x. So here, looking at this fraction here, as h approaches zero, you can consider this fraction as being one over well one over x because this bubble is going to be this bubble plus plus h, but h is heading towards zero. So when it's really really close to zero, you can just consider this to be um, one over x. So you see. As h, as h approaches zero, this thing here you can consider you can consider it as being one over uh, one over x here, and then you've got to take away take away this thing here, which is one over x, okay, and then you've got to multiply by my my point is that this bubble here then becomes um, well the same fraction take away the exact same fraction it's going to be zero, and then you've got to multiply it. Uh, to the top here, so this this uh, this then becomes zero over h. But then as h approaches zero here, it's going to be zero over zero. So here, when you simply just just do this here, um, you, you you're going to get one. You 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 you're going to get zero over zero, and you can't really deduce much from this. So there's something cunning that you have to do, and the cunning thing that you have to do here is to merge these two fractions. And for some reason, when you merge these two fractions, things will just cleanly clean themselves up, and it will it will neatly work work out something neat and tidy. Well, that's that's a clue that merge these um, these two fractions together. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, so to do this here, hang on, to do this here, um, uh, yeah, just just concentrate on on these two fractions here. Merge them together. So with this fraction here, times top and bottom here by uh, by x. Okay, so here you times top and bottom by x, and then this fraction here times top and bottom here by this bubble here, x um, x plus h. Okay, so uh, so this here will be x plus h, and then x plus h here. So this well everything remains the same on the outside, but within within the brackets here. You've got one times x, that will give you x here, and then you've got well, you've got you've got this bubble here multiplying the x. So I'm just going to put the x in front and then multiply by by this thing here, okay? And then with uh, with this fraction here, remember you're times the top and bottom by by this bubble here. So this then becomes well, one times the bubble here will be will just be the bubble here. Okay, and then you've got x times this thing here, so that will be the x times the bubble here. So basically, this bit here then becomes this thing here. Okay, and then, um, and then, and then, um, and then the the the, uh, the two denominators are the same, so you can just merge the whole lot. Okay, so uh, it, it would just be x. That's this thing here. Take away. Remember, this exists in a bubble here. Take away this bubble here. Okay, so um, so this whole thing here will become this. Okay, now it's just you um, multiplying out the brackets now. So so minus. So remember, this is a positive. So it's, it then becomes a minus. Okay, and this here is a positive h because of this minus here. It's going to become a minus h, and then down here it will be x times x. And then uh, x times h, which will give you this, okay? And then, um, and then um, the x.
take away x, that will just leave you with minus h here. Okay, so uh, so th this thing here then becomes this. Okay, and then uh, and then here you've got you've got this fraction multiplying this fraction here. So it's going to be top times top, bottom times bottom. So uh, one times minus h is going to give you this, and then this times this, we just we're going to get this. Okay, and then um, uh, and then. Uh, and then what? Sorry. And then, uh, oh yeah. And then, uh, well, when when you are here, um, you you see these these two kill off each other here. So basically, when you are here, let's divide top and bottom here by h. Okay. So um, so this here will that then become minus one. So sorry, minus one. Okay. Hang on. The uh, yeah. The, 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 this then will become minus one, and uh, 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 and then uh, and then the h at the bottom here, this thing here divided by h here, these two. Will, well, my, sorry, hang on. My point is that when you are here, divide top and bottom here by h. Okay. This then this divided by this will then give you minus one, and then this. Thing divided by h. Well, it's just it, well the well, well when you're here, just it, it then becomes this, okay? And then uh, and then look look at this here. As for some reason, it tidies itself up here because um, as h approaches zero. Now, as if you look at this term here, as h approaches zero, you can consider it's going to get. You can consider h to be zero as um, as as h approaches zero, so it's going to be uh, well. This term here disappears. X times zero is going to disappear, leaving you, uh, leaving you minus one over x squared. So, so the limit um, it is minus one over x squared. Okay, this here, this here is your answer. Okay.